Yeah, we do. Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to Win TV. Denise will be right with you. Her screen is frozen. But um, Mr. Lavalley, can you just tell us about um, the Comcast Rise program? Sure. Thank you so much for having us. Um, Comcast Rise stands for uh, representation, investment, strength, and empowerment. And it was created out of the $100 million commitment that Comcast had announced back in June of last year. Um, the Comcast Rise program is solely focused on Black, Indigenous, and people of color, small business owners, uh, where we actually give out on a quarterly basis uh, till the end of 2022. Uh, we give out on a quarterly basis uh, a number of business services that a participant or an applicant could potentially win. Those business services include uh, business consultation, uh, media, uh, creative production, and a technical makeover. Um, so we definitely would tell every small business, black and brown small business owner out there to really um, Go to the ComcastRise.com website and apply today. Um, apply tomorrow. Apply the next day. Uh, again, this is a quarterly um, award that we're giving out, so your chances of of winning over the over the years is pretty good. How did you decide who would win? How did you do that? We actually have a very easy application process um, that you know talks about and looks at. The community impact, uh, the first and foremost, the community impact of your business within the community, but also we looked at the um, the impact COVID and the social unrest on these small business owners across the uh, the board. So again, very basic application uh, process, but we really wanted to definitely award people who have been impacted. As we know, unfortunately, Denise was mentioning earlier about COVID. As you know, uh, black and brown people are impacted the most across the board, across everything. So uh, small businesses were no different, unfortunately. But um, we are looking to provide uh, that base and um, helping people because this is not a handout, it's a hand up. And we all need to collectively help ourselves because we live in these communities. And we know that these small business owners, such as our two winners today, are the backbone of our community. So sorry, I got I got lost in the internet someplace, uh, but I'm back and uh, I'm really excited about this program because one of the thing one of the key words uh, for 2020 since uh, COVID hit is pivot, and uh, but who you can't pivot without support, and so I think this is a great really great program uh, that allowed these two business owners to pivot, and um, Don, I'm gonna start with you. Tell us uh, how you heard about this and then also uh, how it helped you to pivot. Can you, uh, can you unmute yourself? There we go. Okay. Yes, good. Welcome, all, welcome Donna Henry. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having us. Um, you know, I heard about um, this program through an email I got from from um, Gabby Mosey from, um, uh, I believe it's uh, Uptown Main Street. And she sent, she sent me the information. And I, you know, I had filled out so many applications for fun, for funding and support. And I said, you know, let me just try this and see what happens. And I, I tried it. I forgot about it. It was so easy that I, I totally forgot that I even applied for this, for this award. And uh, um, when I got it, I was just thrilled beyond measures. I was so happy. Um, we we want we received the Creative Production and Media Services Award, and that entails a thirty second commercial spot that will air on around 44 different um, prominent um, um, cable stations um, for 90 days. And my reaction was, who does that? I mean, it's, uh, this, is, this is going to be so invaluable to us as a small business um, in terms of our outreach, reaching out Absolutely. to so many different people and new people. In fact, we started 
uh, last Thursday, I mean, last Saturday, and uh, we've had so many people in the neighborhood, two blocks, three blocks away from where we're located, who have called and said, we're just, we, I, I just saw your, your commercial on CNN. Where are you? You're on Kennedy Street? I didn't know you, you know, I didn't know that um, something like this, uh, you know, is located on Kennedy Street. So it is already making some impact and I'm really, really excited about that. So how much more soup have you, are you having to make and serve and sell now? <laughs> I'm scared to I'm just scared to even think about that. But for right now, you know, um, this pandemic basically knocked the socks off consumer confidence. People were afraid to go out. People were, but you know, as a small um, neighborhood um, entity, we the community wrapped its arms around us, and they were, we're not going to make you uh, allow you to fail. We're going to be there with you. So I I had so many people from the community who came out in spite of it and said, you know, I, if it's even a soup or a spring roll or a corn piece of cornbread, I'm going to buy because I want you to stay afloat. Things will get better or just come to encourage or send emails or something. So we, we, we had the support um, from the community. This award basically expanded our reach and solidified who we are um, and, and made people you know, think, oh my goodness, you know, we've seen you on CNN, we've seen you on M M MS MSNBC on the Oprah channel. Well, that's great. That, that, I mean, that, that uh, is music too. I'm sure uh, Mr. Lavalley's ears uh, to know that what was intended did happen. And, and Keisha Streeter Clark, you have um, Urban Living, DC Urban Living. Tell us a little bit about your business and how this uh, award helps to support your survival. Uh, and I think I want to say it's more than survival um, because you 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 want to see some success happen here. So talk about your business. I need you to unmute yourself too. Thank My you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, DC Urban Living is a full service real estate company and. Um, a lot of what we do is in person, 90% of our business is in person and COVID really affected that. And then amongst that, we had to uh, pack up our office and leave and get a whole new space because of COVID, a building that we rented and leased from uh, closed down. Um, it was a blessing, but it was um, a lot of work. And uh, I applied for the Comcast Rise Award and was very excited to receive it because it was just right on time. They provided the technology portion for us and that was all of our technology, our security, all those things that uh, you need when you're in a new building. And it really decreased our overhead. And we were so appreciative of Comcast Rise and what they have done to us and, and all the opportunities that the Comcast Rise Award has afforded us. Um, including, um, you know, being on an informer in other um, shows to kind of um, let people know that we're here. We're in a new a new community, and um, you know, we're just really excited about it. And um, despite the COVID, you know, we, we will rise. We're rising, and we're appreciative of all that comes rising. These are amazing stories. And, um, you know, when you put a lot of hard work and effort into your business and then something pulls the wool from under you, you know, sometimes you think it's, you know, I, if I just had the money. But, um, James, it seems as though you all took a different approach. It's like it's not just dollars. Um, and, and what made you come up with something so different? We, we really looked at kind of the strengths within Comcast and the different divisions that would benefit uh, small businesses the most. And what rose to the top was the effective side, which is the advertising arm of Comcast Cable and the Comcast business, um, which is the technology and infrastructure team as well. So both of those businesses, their daily businesses are with these small business owners um, every day around our community. And so after we narrowed down on that, we actually looked at different services that we could provide that we thought would really not just benefit the small business owners, but really help them grow. And through commercial creative and media um, or consultation, you know, on the effective side, which are the three pillars that we're representing as well, you know, 
consulting with these small business owners, they had a great idea, a passion for what they're doing. Um, but sometimes they just need a little bit of help in regards to how they advertise and how they put themselves out there, whether it be on television or digitally, et cetera. So we kind of do a deep dive on the consultation part. The media, as you heard from Donna uh, on the media and creative, is very impactful in terms of just getting the word out. And then uh, for Keisha, regarding the technology makeover, the strength, the S in, in RISE stands for strength. And we look at that strength as technology infrastructure. Because without these building blocks of awareness, which is the representation part, the strength, which is the technology, and also uh, they'll be receiving a monthly newsletter for small business owners, which is the E in empowerment. And that's really what we look at for education because these small business owners work 25 hours a day, uh, eight days a week uh, because they love their businesses and they just don't have time to research and find out about tips and tricks and, you know, educate themselves as much as they probably would like to. So we're just trying on all different fronts to really help any way we can. I wish I had more time to, to talk with all of you all. Um, but we don't, but I said, but some lessons learned here. One, um, you know, a lot of small business owners, one, don't take the time or don't even believe that they'll be successful if they fill out that application. You know, I, I'll do it, but you know, I'm, I don't ever, it doesn't work. And then secondly, it seems as though the fact that um, uh, so many programs tell you, you, you get involved, you go through days of workshops and you learn, but you know, it's still on you. It's still on you to do what you have to do with all with only the resources that you have. And you all seem to have hit home runs with both. I just want to give both of you, Keisha and Donna, maybe, you know, a couple seconds to just say how this really um, uh, will boost your business now that you're, you know, you, you've had this, this gotten to receive this award. Um, Keisha, I'll start with you. Uh, the award has afforded me an opportunity to not have to worry about overhead when it comes to our technology and our security and give us time to do the other things that are important. Um, it also has uh, given me um, some publicity, um, which has helped. We um, had an NBC Sports um, spotlight for Black History, and that was really great. And now we're on the former. So, you know, it's 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 just a it's it's a great um, application process. Anyone should apply. It's seamless and it's not cumbersome. And I say anyone, everyone should apply. And Donna? I totally agree with Keisha. Um, you know, the level of outreach that we are going to get as a result of uh, um, the the media cre um, services award that we received it's 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 impactful it's outstanding um, ninety days ninety days um, forty four different uh, stations and an amazing uh, an effective thirty second spot it's just it's just beyond measures and I think that that alone will just help to fuel um, our sustainability as well as our success. And that's basically what all small businesses really want in the, you know, at the end of the day. No question, no question. And James, I'm gonna end with you uh, just so that you can you can reinforce the fact uh, of how this contest works and, and how much longer people can still apply. Yep, I will tell everyone that's listening to go to ComcastRise.com to apply. Um, and just so you know, in regards to how many awards, we are planning on giving out thousands and that's with a T, thousands of awards over the course of this program. This program ends in 2022. It is awarded quarterly. So we're in the third round right now. Uh, this current round ends applications on May 7th, and then the next one opens on May 8th. So there's time, as you heard from the ladies, it's an easy application process. Again, you guys have a good chance of winning, so please apply. Well, as you find more winners, bring them to Win TV because we certainly want to use this opportunity to expose and to um, highlight those winners. I want to congratulate the both of you. I will. I don't. I'm not looking for any real estate right now, Keisha, but I could use a nice cup of soup, Donna. So I'll be up there on Kennedy Street <laughs> to visit. Well, we'll love to have you. All righty, all right. Thank we'll you pass so much. A, we'll pass some business on your way, Keisha. Thank you. All righty. You all have a great one, and thanks for joining us. Uh, again, take advantage of...